Hi, thanks for joining us on the second EO Masterclass. Um, our Masterclass series is designed to help senior executives um, who are looking to obtain preferential job opportunities. Um, our first Masterclass was all about the CV and if you want to access that, it's easily accessible either uh, via our website or also on our YouTube channel. Um, our second one is gonna be all about the LinkedIn profile. Um, again, a topic of much debate and advice in terms of how senior executives should structure their LinkedIn profile. Um, and how you can maximise it in terms of going to market for new job opportunities. So um, we're going to give you our view here of what something like a good, solid, basic best practice looks like. Um, and hopefully there'll be some tips there that will really help you um, drive your online presence and receive new opportunities. Um, so starting from the top then on the, on the standard profile, under your name, um, you've obviously got the photo. Now, again, LinkedIn is very much, in my view, and should be a, viewed as a business tool. So we want the photo to be appropriate. It's not Facebook. I still see lots of photos that are far too zoomed out. I would have it as a, a headshot and above, certainly put some personality into it. It doesn't have to be um, incredibly formal, but should be something that you would associate with your business persona, not your social persona. So very important there. Now into the actual content of the LinkedIn profile, um, and we've got some bullet points here to help guide this session, but effectively the, the LinkedIn profile, we need to switch your thought process on. Because the LinkedIn profile is not your online CV. The aim of your LinkedIn profile is actually to be keyword rich enough that you can be found. Because quite often now, um, before organisations use headhunters like us, um, when people are just trying to network, they're searching on LinkedIn via keywords to identify people. So rather than thinking about the content as you're selling yourself, you need to flip that and think about the content in the context of, have I got everything in there in order that I can be found? Because that's the most important thing. So it's all about being found. And that actually starts next to your photo at the top of the profile um, with this sort of statement and headline that appears underneath your name. Um, so a lot of people put things like, you know, seasoned executive um, within FMCG. Uh, but again, um, probably nobody's gonna actually search on that as a term. Um, what would be better, for example, is FD, finance, financial planning, more the types of job titles that you want to be approached with. Um, we tend to also um, you know, differentiate these keywords within that headline by using a separator. Um, so just a straight line separator, get as many keywords in there as you can in terms of the types of things that potential hiring people can search on to identify you. Um, we've got the connections piece here at the top as well. Encourage you to try and build a significant online footprint. Um, generally, the more people you're connected to, the more people that will be able to find you. Um, so look for relevant mutual connections, look for HR departments, look for search firms, connect with as many of them as possible so that you're very easily findable. Um, and a really nice little tip is underneath your name in the contact details area, um, there's this URL on LinkedIn, which is the URL for your personal LinkedIn profile. Now, what not, a lot of people don't realize is you can actually edit that URL. So if you press edit and go into that URL, you can add a keyword. So if you are a FD in FMCG, for example, you could have UK LinkedIn forward slash financial director FMCG123. Well, whatever's still available as a URL address. Really good to lock that in, because again, when people go to search, if you've got those kind of keywords in your URL, it really helps you th uh, sort of fly up the search rankings when uh, the results come out. So that's really important. Um, posts is something we're very passionate about as well. I think it's very important to have an online voice. Um, as a senior executive, you've probably got a lot of knowledge that you share every day, but good to get that out there as evidence of your competence and to drive traffic to your own shop window online effectively, which is this LinkedIn site. Um, also by putting keywords in those posts, that all adds to your relevance and where you show up in the search algorithm. So very, very important to get the top of your profile structured that way. Um, then into the real meat of the LinkedIn profile, we've got this summary box, which in our view should be very much an introduction, um, but again, very, very keyword rich. So not the personal profile that you would put on your CV, but far more keyword rich. So talking about the skills you have, the industries you work in, the types of roles you can undertake, um, and any other relevant search type buzzwords that people will be able to find you with. 
So really think about that when you're filling out the summary because this needs to be as keyword rich as possible. And when the search algorithm on LinkedIn starts purring, it goes to the job titles, it goes to the keywords and really deep dives into that summary box to look for what it's trying to find. So make sure that's there. Um, and you know, by all means, there's an opportunity to add videos, presentations, documents and slide shares in the bottom of that summary box. So evidence, again, your own uh, competence, interests and um, technical skills with, with documents and, and various different media to help things along. In the experience piece, um, this is a more CV-like type area. Um, you want to make sure that underneath each job tile, you've actually got some text in there, keyword rich text, which explains the type of roles you've done previously. Um, you can have some achievements in there as well. Obviously, that's a, a, a very positive thing. But again, people aren't going to search on save 20% of spend. What they will search on is procurement. So it's about having the right terms throughout this profile to make sure you show up very quickly. Um, recommendations are still very powerful, particularly from senior people. So uh, certainly get your referees, um, your contacts, people who've worked for you, with you, alongside you to publicly recommend you. I think that's a, a very, very positive thing. At the bottom, you've got a skills area. Again, the more skill, relevant skills you can get endorsed with, the better. No doubt about that. And a groups area. So again, join as many groups as you can. Be actively participating where you can as well. Um, the other good thing about groups is somebody searching can also, search, can also find members of those same groups. So by joining relevant groups, people who are hiring will be able to find you. So in summary, um, in terms of our, our bullet points and how you want to put this LinkedIn profile together um, to further complement the, uh, uh, the CV template that we spoke about, it's all about being found. You need to think about this in regards to the search engine on LinkedIn. You have to be found, it has to be keyword rich. First impressions last, um, don't underestimate the power of this profile. Very often when people now receive a CV, actually one of the first things they do is type the name off of the CV straight into LinkedIn and look there first before they've even read the CV. So people are gonna have a look at this and you need to make an impression quickly. You need to be able to get your message across and it needs to look impressive. So again, the photo and things like that, very important. Continuously build your social footprint, as important as your offline network, I would say these days. Showcase your skills. Don't be afraid to ask for endorsements and recommendations. Typically, senior people are very bad at asking for this, but it's an important part of the process. And if you're serious about moving on and getting in a new role, please do so. And be really relevant and active. The more relevant you can be with your online activity, and the more active you can be, the more eyeballs that will be coming to your profile to increase the number of opportunities that are ultimately coming your way. Um, I hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions or wish to get in contact, please reach out to me either on LinkedIn or via executivesonline.com. Thanks for listening.